All right, so welcome to part two of this tutorial where we will begin coding. I might do this in two separate mini videos or I might do it in one entire video. The reason I do in two separate videos is because uh, I want to put in different titles for the uh, YouTube video so that I can attract more viewers. That's the main reason. So it basically helps me with YouTubing SEO. Uh, but um, uh, you can just watch the tutorials. I just trying to want to make it um, uh, narrow down to topics, individual topics. So like I might use uh, computation, uh, comp computer properties in one tutorial and I want to use some data arrays in another tutorial video. So I want to specifically show which tutorial has which Vue.js uh, uh, programming techniques inside. So that's what I'm going to, um, that's why I'm going to separate the videos down to smaller chunks. But let's see how it goes and let's get right into this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my uh, uh, PHP Storm. And once again, you can use any text editor you want. You can use Sublime Text. You can use um, you can use uh, uh, you can use Atom.io. Um, whatever works for you guys. Uh, I like PHP Storm because it say I think it roughly it shaves like maybe three to five percent of my development time. And for someone like me. I just I get hooked on it. I think that's like the most fascinating thing in the world. But if you're just starting out and you want to get comfortable, I would my personal opinion between Sublime Text and Atom IO, I would highly suggest using Atom IO. So that's just me. Um, I don't even use all the features of PHP Storm. I just use the coding basic coding features of PHP Storm and it works phenomenally for me. So that's what I like. But once again, use any uh, text editor you want. Um, this, of course, PHP Storm is not a text editor. It's an IDE, but uh, it really doesn't matter because we're not really using hardcore IDE features. And for a new programmer, something simpler like Sublime Text or Atom IO might even be better. So having said that, use what you guys want. Um, just follow along and uh, let's get this tutorial going. Wh whichever my basic message is, any text editor is wonderful. I'm not doing any complex stuff, so whichever text editor you use won't matter at all. All right, so having said that, I have my file already made. So it's called money machine, money machine, money dash machine two dot HTML, as you can see right here. So let's say uh, we're gonna create a file here and I, I'm not gonna go through where I get the CDNs for the, um, for the files because it's really tedious and I'm not trying to show you how to get CDNs like just, I'm just gonna copy and paste and you can copy and paste word for word or you can Google your own CDNs. But these are the ones that I'm gonna use. So we have jQuery for Bootstrap because um, Bootstrap plugins, some of, the, some of the animation Bootstrap plugins like drop-down menus uh, in Bootstrap uses jQuery. Uh, am I gonna actually use jQuery? I don't know, but I usually just like installing jQuery for fun because it's a small application and it's not that uh, important for scalability yet. Um, so. To keep things simple, I'm just gonna install jQuery in case we use it, in case we change our mind. And we're gonna use Bootstrap here. Um, of course, we have the Bootstrap CSS CDN and we have the Bootstrap J JavaScript CDN. We need both. So, and we also have the Font Awesome CDN. Am I gonna use it? Probably not, but once again, I just like having it there. So in case I use it, it's really easy to have icons for your buttons if you have Font Awesome. So that's one of the reasons why you wanna have Font Awesome included. And once again, this is for Bootstrap. Bootstrap uses Font Awesome. And last but not least, we have the Vue.js script. And here you won't notice any version numbers, so that will automatically give you the most recent version from unpackage.com. So that's the, basically the installation of this. And, 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 uh, that's simple installation. So uh, the first thing we want to do is, of course, if we go here, now this is our blank page. We have nothing here. Uh, and, and by the way, guys, I think I might try and keep these tutorials 10 to 12 minutes long. So I'll be watching my timer and seeing how long it is. So We want to, let's see, um, we want to first create a title called Money Maker. So let's go do that. So let, I'm gonna put everything inside a div called container and inside I'm gonna create a div called app. And here I'm gonna create a script tag that we're gonna put our JavaScript in and inside our app, we're gonna say um, h1 money maker. And we're gonna give this a class of text center so it gets centered 
if we go back here, we have Moneymaker. All right. Yeah, so Bootstrap really makes styling easier. If Bootstrap wasn't here, this would be some weird other font, and then the margins and patterns would be wrong, and um, it would be like an ugly font, and you don't you don't want an ugly font. It's you want like you want a decent looking font, and that's why Bootstrap is good. So just keep that in mind. Just showing something presentable. The reason why Bootstrap is a programmer's best friend is because it makes it allows programmers to understand basic designing concepts without knowing shit about designing. So that's why you want to make Bootstrap your best friend if you're a backend developer trying to prototype stuff for front-end development. Now we are doing front-end development right now, but as you guys well know from maybe one of my previous tutorials, I am partially red, green, colorblind, and that's why I love sticking with uh, back-end programming and that's why I like identifying myself more as a hardcore programmer than a front-end or a CSS guy uh, so that's why bootstrap is my best friend and I hope you guys enjoy these tutorials because I really try to make these really great for you guys okay so um, having said that let's uh, let's create choose occupation and then the six um, occupations so to do that we're gonna create a row I'm gonna go here and go row, and we're gonna put some spacing in here, and we're gonna say h2 choose occupation, and then here we're gonna create another row. We're gonna say row, and we're gonna create um, div called col s column sm4 times six. So we got six of those. So that's gonna be basically two lines. So twelve. 12 columns per grid, so that's going to be two lines. So here we're going to say uh, button, uh, button, button large, button primary. Hey guys, I'm going to try something interesting. I'm going to try, I'm just going to experiment here. I'm going to go like this, 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 and then here I'm going to go alt. I'm going to hold down alt and then I'm going to click these areas. So click, click, click. Oh, sorry, not not that one. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, click, 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 click. All right. Now that we got that working, let's um. Let's say uh, I'm gonna do button button. And, and the way I did it was I held down Alt and I clicked on each one. So I'm not. I think it's slightly different in Atom IO. I'm not sure, but once you stick with your text, I'm pretty sure Atom, Atom IO has this functionality as well. So once you stick with your uh, text editor or IDE, try to figure these things out because it can help with your uh, development time cycle. So we go uh, button button primary and button large. All right, so there we go. So here we're gonna say, if we go back here, it's all gonna be blank. So got some blank tabs. And um, let's see, choose occupation. Guys, I forgot about one thing. I have to create this into a two separate div tags. So I'm gonna go like, whoops, I'm gonna go like that. And I'm gonna go like, whoops. Like that, and here I'm gonna go row and delete this one. So I want two separate rows because I want style, margin, top, 20 pixels. And once again, guys, I'm just loosely doing this. I'm not trying to make this really super good. Of course, you don't want it to do CSS like that, but um, just just make sure that it looks all right. Present. I'm I'm not too concerned about like putting the CSS on one file here. I'm just showing you some VJS concepts. That's my main goal here to show you VJS concepts so that you can do VJS programming. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna go back here and we're gonna enter in the six occupations. We're gonna go doctor, liar. And by the way, depending on what kind of doctor you are, you can make anywhere between $150,000 a year all the way up to $500,000 a year on average. So just becoming a doctor won't automatically net you like a $300,000 job. If you choose the wrong doctor occupation because, oh, I am passionate about so-and-so and I want to become this kind of doctor, you might unfortunately end up only making $150K a year, US dollars that I'm saying. So even when you're a doctor and you're studying, 
think of what type of doctor you want to do based on how much money you're going to make. And, you know, I'm, I'm not saying certain doctors are bad because we need doctors, but certain doctor uh, occupations pay more than others. So, you know, if you guys want to choose a good occupation, just make sure you choose one based on money. So, guys, we're going to do software developer and software developers i believe realistically cap out at about three hundred thousand dollars a year us if you live in silicon valley and you have a very high paying programming job and anything above that you're either like a product manager or you run your own programming business or you hire other programmers to run make software for you and you're more of a software uh business idea person than and then a specifically a programmer so programming is not exactly the most uh uh ludic uh lucris Fuck, I forgot the name. <laughs> Ludicrous, no, not Ludicrous. Lu, I forgot the name. The, it's basically um, the job that makes you money. Lucrous. Lucrous? Lucrative. 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 That's Programming isn't the necessarily most nu lucrative job, but, you know, I'm just, I'm just letting you guys know what I know. So, accountant. Let's go. Accountant. Accountant. Bank owner. And physics engineer. All right, so if we go back here, refresh the page, we got doctor, lawyer, software developer, accountant, bank owner, physics engineer. All right, so we're closing in on 11 minutes on this tutorial. So I want to split up these videos so that I get better YouTube titles and better YouTube title SEO so I can attract more viewers to my tutorial videos. So I will be uh, seeing you guys in the part two of this video. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys.